Hello and welcome to the Delaware Department of Transportation's virtual information session on this summer's proposed roadway and pedestrian improvements along the old Baltimore Pike Corridor. In light of the recent coronavirus outbreak and our governor's shelter in place order, the department has opted to hold this informational session via WebEx in lieu of an in-person workshop in order to safely inform the public on upcoming improvements along old Baltimore Pike. This virtual information session will be held from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and will consist of a short presentation and a question and answer session. The presentation will be shown twice, once at 6 p.m. and once at 7 p.m. to allow latecomers a chance to view the presentation in full. Following showings of the presentation, the floor will be open for questions and answers. It is during these question and answer sessions that members of the public are encouraged to type their questions regarding the project for the presenters to answer. We will then read aloud each question submitted and answer them to the best of our ability until the end of the session. We promise we will do our utmost to answer every question submitted. Should we run out of time with questions to spare, rest assured we will make every effort to follow up with your question and provide you with an answer. Contact information will be provided at the end of the presentation. Before we begin our presentation, we'd like to briefly go over how to use the WebEx application in order to ensure that you can not only view and hear our panelists and presentation, but can fully participate in the question and answer session as well. Whether you chose to join this WebEx session via web browser or decided to download the WebEx application plugin, the visual layout of your screen should resemble something like this. The presentation should be featured prominently in the center of your screen. For the best viewing experience, please maximize your browser or application window. You'll notice a series of buttons at the bottom center portion of your screen. One of those buttons, marked with the gray box and question mark, is your Q&A button. Go ahead and click your Q&A button to bring up the question and answer chat box on the right-hand portion of your screen. You may utilize this chat box to not only submit your questions for answering, but view questions submitted by other participants as well. Be sure to have all panelists selected prior to submitting your question to ensure all of our panelists have an opportunity to view and answer your question. The Old Baltimore Pike Pavement and Rehabilitation Project incorporates several different roadway design elements, all of which are planned to be constructed simultaneously. This project involves pavement resurfacing and restriping, roadway hazard elimination, operational upgrades, pedestrian facility improvements, traffic signal upgrades, and roadway lighting upgrades. The limits of the pavement and rehabilitation project along Old Baltimore Pike begin 750 feet east of the intersection of Old Baltimore Pike and SR-72 and end 300 feet west of the intersection of Old Baltimore Pike and Aspen Drive. It has a construction cost of $2,500,000. Traffic signal upgrades account for an additional $1 million. Construction is scheduled to start in late summer of 2020 with an estimated construction duration of 103 days. Construction activity is scheduled Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. While pavement resurfacing and restriping is proposed along the entirety of the project limits, roadway improvements are concentrated in five key areas. The intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with Westover Woods Drive and Torrington Way. The pedestrian crossing just west of Lucerne Drive. The intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with LB Drive and Deer Run Drive. The intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with LB Drive and Christiana Farms Place and the roadway approaching and in between the intersections of Old Baltimore Pike and both legs of Salem Church Road. This project aims to improve safety, reduce congestion, improve pedestrian accessibility, and improve the condition of pavement and rideability. The intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with Westover Woods Drive and Torrington Way we'll see the reconstruction of pedestrian facilities at each of its four corners. The pedestrian connections and pedestrian activated signals will be upgraded to accommodate the installation of a fourth crosswalk across Old Baltimore Pike as well. Existing bicycle lanes will be updated and restriped. It should be noted that these bicycle lane updates are typical all throughout the project limits. 
traffic signal heads will be replaced and four new lighting luminaires will be installed to improve intersection operation and visibility. The bus facilities west of the intersection of Old Baltimore Pike and Lucerne Drive on both the north and south side will be upgraded with new bus pads, bus ramps, and bus shelters. The existing mid-block pedestrian crossing will be relocated and widened. In order to accommodate these upgrades, the median will have to be reconstructed as well. These improvements will ensure safety, ease of access, and compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. The intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with Albee Drive and Deer Run Drive will see the reconstruction of pedestrian facilities at its southeast and southwest corners. Brand new pedestrian connections and pedestrian activated signals will be installed in order to accommodate two new crosswalks, one across Deer Run Drive and the other across Old Baltimore Pike. Traffic signal heads will be replaced and four new lighting luminaires will be installed to improve intersection operation and visibility. The intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with Albee Drive and Christiana Farms Place will see the construction of new pedestrian facilities at its southeast and southwest corners. Pedestrian connections and pedestrian activated signals will be installed in order to accommodate a crosswalk across Christiana Farms Place. Traffic signal heads will be replaced and four new lighting luminaires will be installed to improve intersection operation and visibility. The intersections of Old Baltimore Pike with the north and south legs of Salem Church Road have been the site of several reported crashes in recent years. These crashes, first detailed in a 2009 hazard elimination program report, consist primarily of rear end, T-bone, and side swipe collisions and are attributed to the unprotected left turns on both approaches from Old Baltimore Pike onto Salem Church Road. In an effort to mitigate these issues, Protected left turn signal phasing will be implemented full time on the eastbound left turn lane and during peak hours on the westbound left turn lane. Here are some of the roadway improvements we have planned for these intersections. The eastern intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with the South Leg of Salem Church Road will see the construction of brand new pedestrian facilities at the southeast and southwest corners of the intersection. New pedestrian connections and pedestrian activated signals will be installed. Existing channelizing traffic islands will be reconstructed into pedestrian islands to allow the installation of a crosswalk across Salem Church Road. These improvements are a part of the first phase of upcoming pedestrian improvements along Old Baltimore Pike as a part of our pedestrian access route program. More information on these improvements will be provided later on in the presentation. The roadway medians on either side of the intersection along Old Baltimore Pike will be reconstructed to accommodate the updated westbound through and left turn configurations. Traffic signals will be upgraded from span wire to mast arm signals with new signal heads and traffic timings will be optimized to accommodate the updated lane configurations and peak hour left turn phasing. The area between the intersections of Old Baltimore Pike with the north and south legs of Salem Church Road will be updated to accommodate longer left turn lanes on both the eastbound and westbound approaches. The westbound left turn lane from Old Baltimore Pike onto the south leg of Salem Church Road will be extended 350 feet, a total of 850 feet, to accommodate the proposed peak hour protected left turn phasing. The eastbound left turn lane from Old Baltimore Pike onto the north leg of Salem Church Road will be extended 800 feet, a total of 1,200 feet, to accommodate the proposed full-time protected left turn phasing. The roadway median will be reconstructed to provide safe delineation between opposing directions of traffic and will fully extend between both intersections of Old Baltimore Pike with Salem Church Road. The western intersection of Old Baltimore Pike with the south leg of Salem Church Road We'll see the reconstruction of existing pedestrian connections to ensure compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. The roadway medians on either side of the intersection along Old Baltimore Pike 
will be reconstructed to accommodate the updated eastbound through and left turn lane configurations. Additionally, the westbound left turn lane from Old Baltimore Pike onto Salem Woods Road will be extended a further 125 feet to accommodate additional traffic. Traffic signals will be upgraded from span wire to mast arm signals with new signal heads and traffic timings will be optimized to accommodate the updated lane configurations and full-time protected left turn phasing. Additional pedestrian improvements are slated for construction in a future phase along Old Baltimore Pike. These improvements would be implemented within existing project limits and would be a part of DELDOT's Pedestrian Access Route, or PAR, program. The pedestrian improvements in this future phase would aim to connect, extend, and complement the pedestrian improvements previously shown in this presentation. The exact design and scope of these future pedestrian improvements are, as of yet, not finalized and are subject to change between now and their construction. Existing roadway pavement conditions along the north leg of Salem Church Road, just south of the I-95 overpass, are leading to hazardous drainage issues with standing water within the traveled way. This standing water is serving to deteriorate the roadway edge, possibly undermining the road itself. In order to mitigate these drainage issues, the department plans to repave Salem Church Road and construct curb and gutter as well as a drainage system along the roadway to safely intercept and reroute stormwater off of the road. These roadway and drainage improvements are, as of yet, not finalized and are subject to change between now and their construction. The department is currently evaluating different alternatives for a long-term solution to the operational problems with the intersections of all Baltimore Pike and Salem Church Road. In an effort to mitigate existing roadway congestion and safety hazards, one of the alternatives involves a possible realignment of Salem Church Road. No preferred alternative has been chosen, however, and currently all options remain on the table. We appreciate the time you've taken to attend this informational session on our upcoming pavement and rehabilitation project along Old Baltimore Pike. We look forward to improving the safety and operation of the corridor, and we hope you found this presentation both informative and worthwhile. Should you have any further questions or concerns after tonight's question and answer session, we encourage you to contact us via email at dotpr at delaware.gov or by telephone at 302 760 2080. Thank you and please remain connected to attend our Q&A session.